Hey y'all, it's Katie. Welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons Island tour. Today's tour is an incredibly exciting one because it is in collaboration with Pandora and their new collection, Pandora Me. Today, Pandora is launching an entirely new collection of charms, bracelets, necklaces, rings, earrings. In fact, it includes 54 new pieces of Pandora jewelry. A key theme behind this collection in its totality is that of self-expression and creativity. It's almost like being able to DIY your own jewelry, which of course us Animal Crossing fans are very familiar with DIYs. So today y'all, we are checking out the island of Pandora, which is completely designed around this new collection. Before we dive into the actual tour, I did want to thank Pandora for sponsoring this video and also for sending me a part of this collection as well. I have not received it in the mail yet, but I will make sure to post a picture on my community page as soon as it arrives as well as on my social media. If you know me at all, I love stacking bracelets, so I'm really excited because this collection is really cute. Also, thank you to you, my audience, for being so supportive of these kind of videos and sponsorships. Without you guys, I wouldn't even have these opportunities. With that said, let's go ahead and dive into the island of Pandora and start today's tour. All right, y'all, here we are on Pandora Island. Now, first things first, you're gonna recognize this flag because it is Pandora's logo in pink and black, which is so cool. And you'll notice that I'm wearing something a little bit different than what I typically wear on island tours, and that's because the Pandora team actually created a line of clothing that are in-game designs, and it totally mirrors the Pandora Me collection in terms of the links and the charms that they have. And quite frankly, my character has never looked cooler, so I'm pretty stoked about this collection, and I'll show you more of the designs later on in the video. Now, of course, typical protocol for island tours, we are going to check out the Pandora Me map. Holy neighborhoods. Also, look at how many characters there are. <laughs> wow. Now, you might recognize a couple of these names, like Charlie, as in Charlie XCS, so, <laughs> For reference, a lot of these characters are influencers and celebrities that are also a part of this collaboration, and their home's interiors are gonna be really cool to check out because they directly reference their careers and what they do. So yeah, super excited to check those out. And then these two guys right here, Francesco and Filippo, are the creative directors. So their homes are gonna be very Pandora-inspired, and I'm excited to see what they entail. Also, here is the dream address on the screen. Make sure to come and visit the island of Pandora. This terraforming is amazing. I'm obsessed with the neighborhood layouts. And the Crescent Lake in the back right, I'm sure is gonna be so, so stunning. That moon looks just creme de la creme. Now for our villager lineups, we have Cherry, we have Meringue, Anka, Punchy, Toby, Etwell, Rilla, Chelsea, Chai and Marty, so a lot of Sanrio characters. And then definitely a theme of hot pink and some yellow tones with the villagers as well. So I wonder if we're gonna see that throughout the island too. But let's go ahead and get started. So here is the island's entrance. I am obsessed with islands that are set at nighttime or really when the weather or time of day is just unique in general. And I'm sure it's purposeful because it looks like we have some fluorescent pink lights happening here in the background. Now here's our first home. It's the factory and I do want to go inside and I'm very, very tempted, but I have to see what's going on back here first. <laughs> Whoa. Look at this dance floor and a DJ set. Now, I don't care if you're making a, you know, cyberpunk themed island or an urban island or even, heck, a cottagecore island. This dance floor is so cool and you can pull inspiration from this on anything that you build. I bet it's so fun to see your villagers actually dancing and singing on a space like this instead of like resonant services, but this is, Really, really, really cool. I love it. So now let's check out the actual factory. Uh, 
Oh, how cool is this? Oh, it says Pandora on the back. Now that is pretty neat. So the actual factory in Chiang Mai is what inspired this Pandora jewelry factory here in the Animal Crossing Island of Pandora. Wow, so you have everything that you need here to craft jewelry and you have tons of lush greenery as well to kind of represent Chiang Mai itself and its tropical location. This is so fun. Oh my gosh, the in-game ring too is just way too perfect. And again, with the black and pink theme we have going on, it's perfect. I'm really loving how eccentric and how just fun this collection is. I feel like that's the best adjective to describe it. It's really, really fun. And I believe this neighborhood went, well, it's pretty much in a circle, right? Also, hello, friend. Dante says dance. Okay, well, you said it at the perfect place, my friend, because that is the dance floor right there. <laughs> and then here is the gallery. Now, the gallery belongs to Filippo, and then the factory belongs to Francesco. So, like I said earlier, these guys are the creative directors, which only makes sense that they have these amazing Pandora filled rooms. Okay, this is cool. Look at how these hats almost look like pillows <laughs> to be holding these necklaces and bracelets and charms. Wow. Oh my gosh, look. And here is a little beanie hanging on the wall that is very similar to the one that I am sporting, but this one's pink and has more chains. So yeah, that's a, a sneak peek of one of the designs you can download. And same with this flaming heart right here. This is a charm that is a part of the Pandora Me collection. And you know what? Even if you don't wear that design, you know, on a t-shirt in Animal Crossing or whatever, it looks like a really cool poster. So even just for artwork hanging on your wall, you definitely want to download these. This gallery is so neat. Also, what just a cool concept to create a room in Animal Crossing, almost like your own art gallery, especially if you enjoy making pixel art yourself or, you know, designing flags for other people, whatever it might be. That would be fun to have a dedicated gallery in your Animal Crossing home. Ooh, the studio. I'm guessing this is going to be a music studio. Yep, look at how fun this is. All of the pink. You know what, seeing this room, <laughs> I can't help but think that this is made just for Flora. This is where she would thrive. Really any of the peppy villagers because they wanna be superstars. But because this is very pink heavy, I'm telling you, Flora, my girl, I think I found the perfect home for you. Wow, what a cool studio. And like I was saying, a lot of these houses, of course, are made for the other influencers and celebrities that are, that are a part of these campaigns. So it only is fitting that a music studio is a part of this island. Oh, and we have more friends. <laughs> Hello. Dream, ooh. And now we have our fourth, fourth house, the green room. Now this room belongs to Charlie XCX. So I'm guessing it's gonna be a very posh green room. <laughs> oh, whoa. Now I have to sit back here. A couple things. These panels that are right behind this couch are so smart because it really looks like the pads that people put on walls to soundproof them, which in green rooms I feel like is totally necessary, especially for an artist. <gasps> and then those panels, whoa. How smart is that to have these decorated to look like mirror lights? And then just pop it behind a vanity like this? Amazing. These rooms are so much fun. 
This also really is fun because there aren't multiple rooms in the house, but each character has one very specific dedicated room. You know, it's quality, not quantity. And I appreciate that. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Dance room. So not only do we have a dance floor outside, we have a dance room. Oh, this must be Dante's house. That would make sense. So Dante is a very talented dancer from Canada. And he said to dance, so it only makes sense that this is his house. Whoa. Again, with the pink and the black theme. Oh, I love it. You know what? Whenever I was younger and I used to, <laughs> this is gonna age me, but I used to like make hair wraps <laughs> with my friends and we would always want pink and black. That was the color combo we always wanted. And that, this is, you know, it's giving me those, those fun memories. <laughs> Hey, I think we have one more house, is that right? Yeah, what's this? The selfie space. Oh my gosh, an influencer's home dream. <gasps> Whoa, oh my gosh, and you have a camera right here? <gasps> okay, so I need to get in front of the camera because that's what influencers do, right? <laughs> this is so cool. I've never thought to put a custom coat on the wall, just like this grid, but then layering it with these circles, it makes for the most unique wall space. Like what? This is cool. It's also so neat too, just how many companies have gotten on board with the Animal Crossing Island experience. I absolutely love that. It's a nice way to kind of just bring some life into brands that you might not otherwise, you know, know too much about, but this is so cool. Wait, we have to say hello to Francesco. Welcome, well, thank you. <laughs> Okay, onward. So let's go over this way. And before we go up this incline, I saw this little space when I woke up from this dream and was blown away. Look at this arcade. I mean, the, the, it's amazing. <laughs> I mean, this is so so crazy. Oh my gosh, look at Meringue. She's like, I want in on this. Oh, we gotta take some pics, of course. Yeah, this is so cool. Imagine having your own branded arcade. So much fun. Whoa, and a pool? Wait, what? Oh, I didn't even see this. Now that's fun. Look at this transition too, from this water code to this water code. I'm walking on water. <laughs> now this is amazing. Look at Meringue. She matches this island so well, I can't get over it. Now, oh, hello Francesco. Perfect timing because we are gonna check out the custom designs that are on this island for everyone to download, it's so cool. So like I said, the beanie that I'm wearing, the t-shirt dress, they are easily downloadable from this portal right here, but not only are these two items available, there are so many more. There were some amazing, talented pixel artists who truly worked their magic in creating these. I mean, look at this. This flame jacket I downloaded and it's so cool. I love these. This t-shirt as well. I mean, come on, that is so fun. So here on the left-hand side is the creator code if you do wanna download any of these designs. But like I said, all of these were totally inspired by this Pandora Me collection. So this right here is an actual charm. That is a part of the collection. These links are a part of the actual bracelets and necklaces that are in this collection. So really, really cool concept that they created here. And I've got to say, it made for some pretty awesome clothing. <laughs> so let's go up. 
up this way, it looks we have Nook's Cranny, of course, right here. Oh, and Abel Sisters. Oh wait, we have to light this firework. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> so much fun. Again, I gotta love Nighttime Island simply because it makes interactivity like this or the different fluorescent lights just so much more fun and visible than on an island when it's daytime. Look at this diner. Holy smokes. <gasps> wow, y'all. This is some serious like retro inspo or like I was saying earlier, kind of like cyberpunk inspo as well. Tons of pink, which I of course expected, but also look over here. I'm gonna go down. This is so unique how these little booths almost have the concept of, um, oh gosh, I can't think of the name, but there are those little kiosks that people have at restaurants sometimes where you can play games, place orders. That's what they remind me of, those little TVs. Wow. That is a diner, let me just say. So fun. And I like too how this is like all sunken as well. It's all kind of sunken in on this one area. Now, if we go to the left, I think this takes us to our first villager neighborhood, which is so fun. Again, I'm getting all of the inspo from each and every neighborhood I can possibly find. And the fact that this one is all, oh my gosh, Francesco again. We are officially BFFs. <laughs> so each and every neighborhood I find on any island, whether it's Pandora's Island or a random dream address tour, I am taking all the inspo. And from this island in particular, it's the layout. I mean, I know y'all saw on the map earlier, but the layout of these homes with the villagers, but also the residents. I mean, it's so good. All right, Francesco, show us the way. All right, this is the way. <laughs> oh, also, if you do dream of Pandora, there are some goodies like red sparklers, some party poppers, blue sparklers, and a light stick as well. So <laughs> you have plenty of props for fun photos. Well, now I think we're gonna go check out the right side of this island because we've pretty much, I think we've seen it all on the left. This layout is something that I really want to keep in mind for the next time I do a lot of terraforming because it's so clean and so concise. And yet look at all this decorating space. You know, there's so much room for opportunity. <gasps> a friend. Hello? <gasps> Charlie XCX. Should I ask for her autograph? Is that appropriate? Is that allowed? <laughs> Do you think she'll give it to me? <laughs> so here we have our, our second villager neighborhood, which is similar to the one that's on the other side. <gasps> Look at these little shoes put out front. Oh, hello. So cute. I gotta say, I love the tropical vibe this whole island has as well. Again, pulls from just the whole area where the factory is in Chiang Mai and giving that really tropical aesthetic to everything. Oh, there's an incline. Oh, gotta go this way. Oh, I love a good stunted palm. I have to shake it. Something about shaking the stunted trees, it just makes me giggle. Oh, how beautiful. This is stunning. So, oh my gosh, look at meringue. Hold on, I have to get meringue in this picture. This is way too cute. Oh, go back on the bridge. <laughs> so close. I almost got it. So this on the map is called the Water Gardens. And it looks really, really beautiful. Meringue, you wanna be with me? Wow. Can you imagine stargazing right here when Celeste comes? 
I bet this is really beautiful too with the fireworks in August. Wow. So pretty. Oh, look, we have a little bench here too. Gosh, that is a beautiful view with a full moon. Meringue again. Okay, I'm gonna nudge you because I know you're gonna walk back this way and I really want a picture of meringue. Oh, no, no. Oh my gosh, so close. <laughs> Maybe she'll keep walking back and forth. I don't know, she's just way too cute. Something about meringue makes my heart so happy whether I see her on my island or someone else's island or, you know, a dream address island like this one. Such a cutie pie, but we must continue. What is up this way? Oh, a double incline moment. Oh, this is the museum. What a just quaint and yet effective entrance too. I miss the small museum. I wonder with the new Brewster update if you'll be able to have Brewster with the smaller museum or if you need it to be upgraded with Red's art. I wonder. So back this way through these beautiful palm trees and my personal favorite bridges, the Zen bridges. <laughs> oh, we have the campsite. Oh, and the campsite was close to that stunning lake too. Wait, are these some, what? Hold on, we gotta go back down here and check out these sunken waterfalls. <gasps> Whoa. I almost completely missed this area and yet, hello. Look at how beautiful that is. I, this whole island is making me very tempted to put hyacinth lamps and nova lights and star fragments pretty much everywhere. That's beautiful. Not me just being totally obsessed with <laughs> the sunken waterfalls. What else is new? So pretty. So here is the campsite looks so nice and then oh this is the crescent moon lake that I saw on the map earlier whoa this is beautiful Aquarius is this one Aquarius yeah I think all of the pink ones are look at this little fish in the middle too just like hey welcome hello this is beautiful. This makes me want to put a crescent moon on my island and just, again, fill it with hyacinth lamps and the Nova lights. So pretty. And again, with the theme of pink and the contrast against like darker colors, it's just, oh, I'm living for it. So pretty. This whole island has just been such a treat to explore. I mean, truly. Which one should I do? How about the party poppers? This is how we'll get a nice little photo. Ready? Ta-da! <laughs> so much fun. I am absolutely in love with this island, not only because I love the Pandora Meat collection itself, but because it really is just a beautiful Animal Crossing island as well. It is so stunning. I'm so inspired to put so many more bright colors on my island, play with contrast. Thank you so much again to Pandora for sponsoring this video and letting me tour the amazing island of Pandora as well. I'm going to put a link in the description box as well well below so you guys can check out this incredible collection for yourself make sure to visit pandora's island and download these really dope outfits i'm obsessed with them and i think they're so much fun and i hope y'all are having an amazing day wherever you are in this big old beautiful world and i will see y'all in the next one Bye bye